It's time for a summer update. One, I'm trying to channel my commissaric with the hair. And number two, that's, uh, that, believe it or not, is a mosquito bite. It was just a tiny little bite at first, but I sleep on that side, and I guess it rubbed against my pillow last night, and then it grew exponentially, and then it looked like I got elbowed by Sean Avery. It was bad. But first and foremost, Leafs fans, someone needs to give me a cut of the royalties for the new Thomas Caberstay shirts. Because he's Comrade Caberstay. <laughs> Stan, what? Because he is Thomas Caber staying in Toronto after his August 15th trade window passed. A few questions with that. One, are you upset that Thomas Caberlet was not traded? And two, if Burke still thinks he has too many defensemen, who's gonna go next? Now a lot of people want a Caberlet to get traded for a top six forward because offense seems to be a big problem with the Leafs, but uh, since when? The Leafs finished 10th in league scoring in the 08-09 season and they beat out eight of the 16 teams that made the playoffs in that department. Where did they finish in goals against? Dead last. So while you're all sitting on pins and needles to see how this offense does, I'll wait to see how the defense does things. And sticking to the Leafs defense score, apparently Chris Chelios has asked Leaf coach Ron Wilson if there would be a spot for him on the Leafs. And before you shoot this down, wouldn't it be kind of cool to actually have a guy play for the Leafs who was alive the last time they won the cup? Well, you know, back in my day, it was actually called the Stanley Chalice, and it was owned by King Arthur. And after an entire summer of trying and failing to get Danny Heatley, the San Jose Sharks have decided to say, forget it and clean from within. Patrick Marlowe has been stripped of his team captaincy, and also the alternate captain positions are available as well. The team however did not rule out that Patrick Marlowe could get his captaincy back as long as he earns it. But wouldn't that be kind of awkward? And what really was the point of taking it away in the first place if that's the case? That's like going, whoop, got your nose! Uh, just kidding, it's still there. Sticking to the Western Conference, it looks like Big Bert Todd Bertuzzi has re-landed in Detroit for another go with a one-year contract. I wouldn't exactly call him a replacement for Marion Hossa. But you look at Hossa's 12-year contract and you look at Bertuzzi's one-year contract and say, well, at least Bertuzzi will probably play for all of his. I might be speaking too soon, he's still got to pass a physical. And some sad news to end things off, former Leaf captain and Hart Trophy winner, Ted Teeter Kennedy passed away at the age of 83. Now guys, obviously I haven't touched on everything that's happened in the world of hockey, so I want to know what you guys think about what matters to you in a text or video response. And if you want to talk about Thomas Caberlet, Todd Bertuzzi, Chris Chelios, Patrick Marlowe, or any of those stories, don't hesitate to make a text or video response for that as well. So until next time guys, enjoy your summer shenaniganery responsibly, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.